All right, this rice has been cooking about 10 minutes. And to be honest, I was excited about the rice because man, it smells good and I love rice that I almost forgot about our sausage. But hey, that's okay. If you'll go get your sausage out of the fridge and remember looking at it, this is fully cooked so we don't have to worry about cooking this stuff. And open her up. Then we're gonna cut this up into some links and into some bite-sized pieces. And whenever our rice is fully cooked, we're gonna slide this in there and let it heat up. Uh, and that's going to help get our rice down to a, a good eating temperature. I'll explain that here in a second. So anyway, here's our uh, here's our sausage. All right. Now, remember I said this was just going to be for me and my wife, and for you guys. I hope since y'all cooked one and a half cups of of rice that you'll go ahead and put both lengths of sausage in your recipe but I'm only going to put one in there because that's an awful lot of sausage for just two people but get your link out and then slice it up now if you you can just cut it into little rings if you want to be fancy like this you can cut it on a slight bias I mean geez you don't have to but that just makes it a little more attractive in the pot you know Here's the deal, at the end of the day, this is your rice, this is your food. So cut this sausage up into whatever you consider to be a bite-sized piece. And uh, if you want the pieces a little bigger, cut them bigger. If you want them smaller, make them smaller. It's your dish, you do what you want to do. I'm just showing you what I do. Uh, now when we used to cook this for the rodeo, I was telling you, we would, we would grill sausage. And when I do this at home, I love to make uh, actually from shopping basket that uh, jalapeno cheese sausage that they make there at shopping basket that's one of the best kept secrets in town I tell you that sausage is inexpensive and if you grill it it's really tasty uh, I take it outside grill that bring it in cut it up like this then when the rice is ready we're gonna throw it in there so I'm gonna leave this right here when I cut the video back off I'm gonna clean up my station a little bit and put that sausage back in the refrigerator uh, we got about eight minutes left to go on the rice don't lift the lid I know it's not steaming you can't hear it doing anything you're wondering is it hot is it cooking is it okay it's fine trust me leave it alone all right now, this is fully cooked so if the chef wants to have a bite that's okay all right I'll come back see you in about eight minutes we'll finish this up all right, you can tell our 20 minutes about it is just about over. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you get the idea. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Turn my timer off. All right, so now, finally, we can lift the lid. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna lift the lid. I'm gonna put the sausage in it. Ooh-wee. And I need to get this camera over here so that you can hopefully, oh, hang on, hope I didn't mess that up. Hope you can see how good this rice looks right here. All right, these bay leaves are on top. So this is a really good opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out of there because remember those aren't good to eat. I'm gonna drop this sausage in the pot. Remember, this is hot. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Okay, give it a good stir. All right, and just put the lid back on that thing. And if I were you, you don't have to wait too terribly long, but. I'm going to dial the time back, give it a good five minutes, and then we'll take a look at it. So here's something to think about, too. Now, we didn't heat up the sausage that was in there. That rice has been cooking long. It's been simmering. So, you know, water boils at around 212 degrees, and if it was cooking at a simmer, I'd say the temperature in that pot was somewhere between 190 and 210 degrees, somewhere along in there. And then we're putting room temperature or... If it's sausage out of the refrigerator, 
refrigerated meat in there. Well, a good, you're not going to eat food that's 190 degrees. It's too hot to eat. So you put the sausage in there, stir it up, put the lid back on there. You know, it's going to come to thermal equilibrium. Here's your physics lesson, right? So the temperature of the rice is going to come down. The temperature of the sausage is going to come up. And hopefully when we get done, the temperature of this food is going to be nice and warm. You know, 140, 150 degrees, which is going to be just right for breeding supper. So we're going to let that sit for a minute. Then I'll come back and we'll plate it up and we'll see what this looks like. All right. My timer's telling me that we're, it's been about five minutes. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Take the lid off. Oh man, that smells good. This smells really good. Alright. Another thing I'll tell you, that uh, just in case if you're at the house, uh, if you do happen to have a little rice, depending on what kind of pot you got, that tried to stick a little bit to the bottom of the, the pan, because this is not a pan I use at home, that little bit of rest period also, that steams everything and that, that, that makes sure that all this food will, will release and, and clean and come out of your pan nice and easily. So here we go, y'all. Get all that goodness out of the pot right there. Okay, y'all, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Too bad for me, it's it's a little bit of it's a little bit of time before supper time, but I tell you what, I am gonna take a little bit of bite of it. Just right. It's a nice temperature for for eating right now. So, all right. So, what we learn? Basically, how to cook rice. You need one cup of rice, two cups of liquid, a teaspoon of salt, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon of butter, and that's your ratio for cooking long grain rice. And then we added some aromatics to it. We added some carrots and celery and, and onion, and some Creole seasoning, salt, and then some pepper. Then we threw the sausage in there just for a protein to make this a nice complete meal. And there you go. Hopefully you got a nice meal for, for your family. So remember in classroom, all you have to do is cook this meal, take a picture of it, upload your photo to Google Classroom. And then if you want to, we'll make another video for next week. We'll cook something else. You can leave some comments on Classroom if you'd like about what you'd like to cook. And we'll keep doing this. I think we can do this for several more weeks and into the summer as long as you guys are enjoying what we're doing and, and participating. So let me know. And I hope your meal turns out as delicious as this is. So thanks for watching. Hope the video is not too long. We'll see you next week.